The DJI Mavic Mini is tiny, but it can get some really awesome footage. And I'm gonna go through some tactics on how you can get better looking B-roll out of this drone. There's been a ton of requests on doing a review around this drone, and I'm working on it. However, I wanted to do a video about how you can get better looking footage out of this camera. So it shoots 2.7K, which is more than enough resolution for most of us. However, this drone is hindered by the fact that it's auto exposure. So you don't have the ability to dial in your settings. But what you can do is you can lock your exposure. So over Thanksgiving, I was out in Joshua Tree with my family, and I was able to shoot some pretty awesome footage using this drone. And it just goes to show that it doesn't matter the camera that you shoot on, it's how you shoot it. You can make any camera look good if you come at it with a specific mindset. Now, before we get into the tips, guys, if you're new here to this channel, my name is Jevin Dovey. I do a lot of filmmaking tutorials. I also do a lot of YouTube training on this channel. So make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn on those bell notifications so you don't miss one of these videos. And for those of you who have been a subscriber for a while, I'm sure you're wondering what's going on with the background. So this is my new studio and it's a work in progress. So this is kind of the first iteration of what I'm planning to do here. I've built a geodome and I've been kind of working on the background, but like I said, it's a work in progress. So you're gonna see this evolve and change, but this is the home of my new studio. Some pretty cool stuff on the horizon. So let's go through some ways on how you can get better looking footage out of this tiny little drone. Now, the first thing is when it comes to the DJI Mavic Mini, there is no manual controls when it comes to exposure. There's two ways that you can go about changing your exposure with the Mavic Mini. You can use your exposure compensation and you can lock your exposure. And so what you wanna do is put your exposure compensation at like a negative 0.7. I found that when you shoot with this drone at zero, it's a little bit too bright. And so when you wanna get better looking footage, I drop it down a tad. And then also I use the exposure lock. So what you wanna do is look at what you're about to shoot, plan it out, and point your drone in the direction of what it is that you wanna shoot. Now, if it's too bright or too dark, point it to a different part of the screen or use your exposure compensation and then lock in the exposure. And this is super important because you don't want your exposure bouncing around, so you wanna lock it in. Now, a huge tip is plan out your shoot at a specific time of day, so you don't wanna have the sun directly overhead. When I was out shooting this footage, it was early in the morning. So use time of day to your advantage. So shoot early in the morning or late in the evening when the sun's lower in the sky, because that's gonna give you prettier looking footage. Now with this, you also wanna shoot away from the sun. So you don't want your DJI Mavic Mini pointed towards the sun, because what's gonna happen is you're gonna get this crazy contrast. I mean, look what happens when I point the drone in that direction. I have black and white basically. So what you wanna do is find different shot perspectives that aren't including the sun in the shot. And that's a huge tip, is avoid the sun. Have it behind you, have it off to the side, but don't actually include it in the frame because you wanna fill your frame with exposures that you can see within the camera's sensor. So you don't wanna have major parts of your frame overexposing, and the same, you don't wanna have major parts of your frame underexposing. So you're gonna wanna find the angles that are gonna best suit the scene that you're shooting so that you have a decent dynamic range because you're not shooting log out of this thing, you're just shooting a baked in profile. So you wanna get the best possible image when you're out shooting. You're not gonna be doing a ton of color grading in post with this footage. You can push it a little bit. However, just right out of camera, this is what it looks like. So you can get good looking footage just straight from camera. Now you also wanna think about using the sun to your advantage. So if you just have a flat image, say it's just gray clouds and it's just a very flat looking image, that's just as bad as a super over contrasted image. So the idea is finding enough contrast where you can see a range in your shot and use that to your advantage. So this shot was taken with the sun peeking through the clouds. And what I was really focused on was finding the moments where you see this band of light coming through the houses and it makes it a much more interesting shot than if it was all flat lighting. So think about weather, think about using the sun to your advantage 
and find a way to create contrast in your frame, but you just don't wanna push it to the extreme, like I was saying, where it's super overexposed or super underexposed. Now you don't wanna fly your drone super high in the air, like you don't wanna just take off and be looking down, but at the same time, you also don't wanna be so low to the ground that all your shots are looking like you just used a gimbal and you're walking with it. So the idea is create shot variety. So to create cinematic sequences, you need to have a variety of shots. So grab some close-ups, grab some wides, grab some extreme wides, and use those together to build out a series of shots that really cuts together so that you can create more of this sequencing of footage rather than just all shots from the same perspective. So use perspective to your advantage and vary your shot size. Now also with flying, you wanna do cinematic movements. So slow dolly in, slow dolly out, to the side, like you wanna vary up how you're moving the drone, but you also don't want your drone spinning and jerking around. So avoid all jerky shots. You don't wanna just like eh, 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 eh. That doesn't look good. So what you wanna do is do longer takes and have a beginning to end of your shot. So you're starting here and you're moving forward in a single direction, you're gonna end over there. So think through what it is that you're gonna shoot and plan out shots that have a beginning and an end. Now you can use some of the features that come with the Mavic Mini. They have some pretty awesome automated moves that will get you some really good looking footage. But outside of those automation moves, you wanna think about how you would move a cinema camera. So how would you move a movie camera? It wouldn't be like spinning all over the place and like jerky and this and that. No, what you see in cinema are thought out shots with intention. So I have a few other videos that really break down flying techniques to get these cinematic shots. And I'll put links to all of those videos down in the description. But the last tip I wanna give you is have a story to everything that you're shooting. And this is important. It doesn't matter if you're just out flying for the day, try to create some sort of story, some sort of sequencing. Because when you have a story behind everything that you're shooting and you create a narrative with the shots, that's when you'll start coming up with a sequence. You're like, I need to get a close up of the Jeep, then I need to find a medium shot where I see the Jeep in the frame, some Joshua trees, and then I need to show the wide shot of the rainbow in the distance and the Jeep driving. Or I need to get a, a shot without the Jeep and just the rainbow with the Joshua trees. And so you start thinking of, okay, so how do I tell this story of the Jeep driving through the desert with the rainbow? It's not just put the drone up in the air, fly it around, and then you have pretty footage. When there's more thought put into the story and the narrative of everything that you're shooting, even if it's just sexy B-roll shots, it's gonna make everything look that much better because there is some intent behind everything that you're creating. And even with this little Mavic Mini, you can get some awesome shots. So guys, click right here for another video that goes more step-by-step -step on flying techniques on how to get cinematic footage. All right, guys, that's it. This is an awesome drone. I'm gonna keep flying with this thing. I'll see you on the next one.